smoker welcome to my youtube channel uh, today we are going to cook smoked chicken italiano um, right now we're going to prepare the dry ingredients for the uh, dry rub and we're going to start off with a half cup of paprika okay then we're going to take three teaspoons of coarse kosher salt okay and then we're going to take uh, three teaspoons of fresh black ground pepper. All right, and we're going to take two teaspoons of dry basil. Okay, two teaspoons of dry parsley. That's almost like an Italian seasoning mix. Um, two teaspoons of um, one second of dry thyme. <coughs> Excuse me, all this pepper. Um, then two two spoons of uh, garlic powder. That's pretty quite simple. Two teaspoons of dry mustard. And just to give it a little kick, I'm put in a teaspoon of uh, smoked chipotle pepper. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to mix this up. I actually get it all in there. We're going to mix this up, and then we're going to apply it to some halved chicken. Hey, guys, welcome back. I butterflied some chickens here, and I'm about ready to apply a dry rub on them, and let's do that now. So I'm just going to generally, generously apply the dry rub to it making sure that I get, you know, everywhere on the chicken. And just liberally apply this everywhere, under the wings and kind of pat it on there. Some thoughts are to place it under the skin and on my other pieces I'll try to do that. Okay, let's flip it over. gets on the other side of the meat. There we go. Okay guys, um, check back in a few minutes. I'll have them all ready. Okay guys, what we've done now is we've placed the seasoned uh, chicken halves in a Ziploc bag and what we're going to do is we're going to let it rest for about an hour to two hours in the refrigerator to allow the uh, dry rub to penetrate the meat. At that point, what I'm going to do is uh, add some Italian uh, dressing seasoning that you can buy at any local store. That's the one in the bottle, and uh, that will then rest overnight. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to start prepping the grill so we can cook our chicken. And what we're going to do first off is I have some uh, hickory wood chips that have been soaking for about an hour, pre-soaking them. And I'm just going to go ahead and put them in my smoke box. And this will help give the uh, chickens a nice hickory flavor. Okay, that should be enough for right now. Let's close this up and set this aside and let's fire up the grill. Again, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my grill so I can clean it and I'll leave the firebox burner off for right now and we'll close this up and we'll check back in about five to ten minutes and that way I can season the grill. Alright guys we've been preheating the grill we're at 700 degrees Fahrenheit and let's go ahead and clean the grill. And after we finish cleaning it, we'll go ahead and season it. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about when I season the grill, it's you just take a paper towel and you dip it in some vegetable oil. And then you just take your tongs and brush it over the, uh, the grates itself. And that puts like a little film of oil on it. And that's how you season it. So.
All right, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, guys, we're back. We're about ready to lay the chicken on the grill right now. So I've turned the uh, smoke box burner on, so that should be going right now. I've lowered the temperature after I uh, seasoned the grill, and I, I'm running about 400 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And what we're going to do is go ahead and lay on the chicken so we're nice and hot. So right now these are the chicken breasts that I butterflied uh, yesterday and we're just going to go ahead and lay these bad boys on. You can smell the, uh, uh, the spices on this bad boy. And right now I have it carcass side down so um, it'll heat from the inside up. And we love some chicken in this family, so I have a couple here that I didn't spice as much, so that will go to the wife. And as you can see, I'm using my pigtail food flipper. Um, it can handle the weight of the chickens. And I got one more chicken to put on. There we go. So we're gonna let this go for about, I would say about 10 minutes. All right guys, we've been cooking these chickens for about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check it out right now. Look at that. They're already starting to turn like a golden brown. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip the chickens over, let them cook for about, I would say about five minutes. I'm still gonna check these with a uh, probe since you know, I want to make sure that these are done and uh, that I don't get anyone sick. There we go. Look how easy this is to turn it over. All right, guys, we've been cooking for about, about 20 to 25 minutes now. It's gone a little bit longer than I thought it would, uh, but we're ready to pull these chickens off right now. So what we'll do now is we'll get a temperature, and I've already done it, and we're hitting about 180. So I'm going to pull them off, let them set for a few minutes, and we'll cut them up. And actually, I don't know how to make this look pretty when I plate it up, so... I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys, you know, I'm going to cut it open right here in front of you and we'll just do that. Okay guys, here we have the meat. We're going to go ahead and cut it up. I'm going to cut a little piece off here. Look how juicy that is. It's pulled away. Mm, that tastes good. I would say better than a pollo loco. Mm. Alright guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel on how I cook uh, chicken. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. And check back soon for more videos to come. Thanks again guys.